Welcome back to HealthWise. With us is Dr. Granger. Dr. Granger, we pretty much covered a lot of the cancers and uh, the symptoms and the treatments. Uh, let's talk about some of the other surgeries you do, like gallbladder uh, and appendicitis. Uh, what do people exhibit that come to you with gallbladder problems? The patients that are referred to me, for example, with gallbladder problems, or you they come to me with with symptoms as you know, doctor, I'm doing a lot of belching, I bloat, I feel swollen, I have pain in the middle of my stomach, it goes to my right side, into the back, and I've been having this. Sometimes I have bouts of nausea, sometimes even vomiting. So when they come to my office with those symptoms as referred by their family doctor, I will get a gallbladder test, which is an ultrasound, which shows the anatomy anatomy of the gallbladder, whether they have stones, and whether the wall of the gallbladder is thickened. And I also get a HIDA scan, which shows me if the duct to the gallbladder is stopped up. And depending on the results, if it does show stones, and if it shows the gallbladder wall is thickened, and if it shows that the duct is blocked going to the gallbladder, Reggie, then I recommend they remove the gallbladder. If all the tests are negative, then I recommend to the patient, we need to gastroscope them, look in their stomach, Reggie, to make sure I'm not missing something like a stomach ulcer, okay. or ulcer in their esophagus. And as I informed you at the beginning, in 1991, uh, in February, uh, I did the first 20 laparoscopic gall gallbladder surgery in St. Landry Parish. And as a result of that training with Eddie Reddick in Nashville, the man did the first 150 in the United States, and his technique was beyond reproach, an excellent teacher and an excellent man to teach doctors. And in regards to the symptoms for an appendicitis, a patient usually comes to me and informs me that they started having a little nausea 12 hours before Reggie, then they're starting having pain around their navel, and 12 hours later, the pain is in the right side, what we call the right lower quadrant. We usually obtain a CAT scan to verify what we think it is, and the CAT scan <coughs> will usually show an acute appendicitis. And as a result of that, you can go through their navel, Reggie, and remove that appendix through the navel. And what those two procedures do, the laparoscopic gallbladder removal and removing the appendix through the navel, it decreases the amount of time the patient has to stay in the hospital. Because now we as human beings want fast service and sure. get out to go back to work or whatever. You usually stay in the hospital overnight at the most and go home the next day. Wow. And therefore, patients have little morbidity and minimal mortality. And people want fast service and get back to their pace in life. And that offers that to people. Well, I know, uh, I remember when my mom had gallbladder surgery, it was like you used to stay in the hospital a week or if not more, you know. Correct. Uh, but they didn't have laparoscopic, uh, you know, surgery back then. And uh, incidentally, Dr. Granger, for those of you that don't know, uh, Dr. Granger was probably one of the first ones that got the actual laparoscopic uh, uh, system here in, in Opelousas, correct? Correct. In, in February of 1991. Okay, so, so we didn't even have access to that. And uh, who'd you have to convince? I'm sure you had to do some heavy talking. <laughs> well, after, tra after being trained, sir, by Eddie Reddick, who was the master in the United States, and showing, and he sent a letter to the two hospitals to show that he had trained me, uh, and proved the credentials that he had trained me. Then after that, the, ex the credentials committee of the hospital accepted that new procedure in St. Landry Parish. Mm, okay. And uh, for those of you that don't know, in other words, I know y'all hear to say laparoscopic surgery and stuff. The difference is instead of making a big incision and uh, 
a lot of downtime. It's just a very small slit, as you heard Dr. Uh, Granger say, either in the navel or you know they might hit. They may have to do one or two others, but very small, uh, heal up very quick, and uh, it's amazing. They go in with cameras and uh, you know can see, and I still don't know how they do it, but you know because I know I couldn't. But you know they go in and are able to do these surgeries, you know, like that. And the cameras and the resolution that has that has progressed since 1991, Reg, is, is unbelievable. The resolution is 3.5 magnification, and the 3D image is superb. So you can see things you wouldn't even see in 1991. You, you, you probably couldn't see with, you know, you can see better with those cameras than you can see with your own eyes because it exactly magnifies right. it. It magnifies you know. it. And that, that's, that's incredible. Well, Doc, like I said, uh, we got a minute left, and uh, it's just awesome that you know you speak Creole and Cajun French. Uh, it's also awesome that you came back to Opelousas because a lot of times we lose our doctors. You know, once we get trained, we go to parts unknown. You know, and and we don't come back. And it's just, I think it's very good that you did come back home, and uh, we're very glad to have you. You know, uh, and you've been here a long time, and I've been knowing you, and uh, you know, it's been a long time since I've spoken with you but I very well respected and I you know I hear a lot of good things about you so doc it was glad to have you here and come back anytime Reggie it's a pleasure to be with you today sir and thank you for joining us on Healthwise and we'll see you next week Healthwise is brought to you in part by Opelousas General Health System